finally put up some shelves to place all the rocks that I'm going to be cutting open at some point in the future. And a bunch of, bunch of shelves over here I still need to fill up. Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today, as you can tell, I'm not out rock hounding. Unfortunately, my, my health has been slowly, slowly declining and I'm to the point now where it's a little too much for me to go out rock hounding. Yeah. Um, so what does that mean going forward? Well, well, it means that until they figure out what's wrong, I've been going through a lot of testing over the past several weeks. So far, nothing to tell us exactly what's going wrong. So for the time being, I'm going to not be really rock hounding and just expect moving forward me to not post a lot on the channel. Occasionally put a like a rock cutting video up maybe every week. I don't know. Just whatever I feel like I can do. But right now I've got to focus on just taking care of myself until they hopefully figure out what's wrong and hopefully fix whatever is wrong. It doesn't mean I'm done rock hounding. It means for now I can't rock hound and it drives me nuts. But when they do finally figure out what's really wrong with me, when we finally get it really fixed to where I'm more or less back to normal, then I'm going to be rock hounding again with a vengeance. So, yeah. Anyway, for now, just got to take care of myself. But at least today I wanted to get some rock cutting out for you. So let's cut a few rocks and at least take a look at it, at those. Starting off with some of that red agate from the Levan that I hadn't cut open yet. That This one unfortunately looked like it was mostly calcite. And it is mostly calcite. But the little bit of agate there on the bottom is really nice. Yeah, we still got some pretty bad smoke from the... Uh, the fires, particularly from Northern California. I feel really bad for them out there. And uh, the smoke is really affecting the, uh, <laughs> the lighting here. But anyway, that looks pretty cool. Here's some of the uh, black agate from Levan that I've been looking forward to cutting. It's a bigger piece. Oh, that's a nice piece. Oh, that, that'll make some nice stuff. All right. Off to a pretty strong start. Here's some Wonderstone from Salina. I managed to cut it several times. Okay, this one doesn't have much black in it, but it still looks really neat. Let's take a look at each section. Nice. Nice. And there we go. Here we have a nice looking Dugway geode. Should be good. Ah, yes, and they always are. Dugway geodes, they're just always good. That is a really nice one. Okay, some more Salina Wonderstone. Much thinner one. And that looks very similar to the last one. Just thinner. Ooh, I like that little splotch up near the top. Cool. Here we have some more black agate from Vernon that I've been, I mean, Levan. <laughs> Can't even say the right words right now. Some more Levan black agate. Looking forward to this. Ooh, another nice one. Wow, we're, do we're doing good with the, the black agates today. Wow, that one's pretty. And it's drying out. Uh, quickly, show the next section before it dries out. Oh, that is nice. That is really nice stuff. And last but not least today, the good old classic Vernon Wonderstone. It's a big section, so let's let's get started with it. Oh, yeah, it's so big it doesn't quite fit on the screen, but it is really nice. All right, let's look at the next section. Wow, I do like me some good Vernon Wonderstone. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed those specimens. I sure did. Those were some nice ones. Some of them better than I thought. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere. Whenever the next time is, take care of yourselves.